Welcome back to Frontline News. I am Aisha Nation. It's now time for Frontline Business. As COVID-19 restrictions continue to impact several sectors, Trans Jamaican Highway Limited is reporting that it ended its 2020 financial year with a 2.6 million US dollar loss. The company's revenue consists mainly of toll collections. Revenue for the 12-month period, which ended December 31, was over 45 million US dollars, compared to just over 53 million US dollars for the same period in 2019. In 2019, Trans Jamaican recorded an 8 million US dollar profit. For the full year 2020, a total of nearly 21 million toll transactions were recorded down to about 15% from 24 million in the previous year. West Indies Petroleum Limited has made changes to its board of directors following a difference in opinion regarding the direction of the company. In a news release on Sunday, chairman of the company Gordon Shirley noted that Courtney Wilkinson and John Levy are no longer directors. Mr. Shirley says the men's tenure as members of the board came to an end during a recent extraordinary general meeting. The World Trade Organization, WTO, has appointed a new head. Ngozi Okonjo Iwela was confirmed as Director General of the organization on Monday. At age 66, the economist and former finance minister of Nigeria has become the first woman and first African to lead the global trade body. In an interview with CNN on Monday, she said her first priority would be to address the economic and health consequences of the COVID-19 pandemic and to implement the policy responses needed to get the global economy going again. The WTO was established in 1995 to promote open trade for negotiation and administer rules for international trade and resolve disputes among its 164 members. In Monday's trading session, the JSC Combined Index advanced by 1,020 points to close at under 3,000 units. Overall market activity resulted from trading in 89 stocks, of which 46 advanced, 34 declined, and 9 traded firm. The junior market index declined by just over 20 points to close at under 2,000 units. Stocks advanced for 138 Students Living Jamaica, AMG Packaging and Paper Company, Barita Investments, Berger Paints Jamaica, and Blue Power Group Limited. Stocks declined for Access Financial Services, CAC 2000, Cargo Handlers, Caribbean Cement Company and Caribbean Cream Limited. Trading firm were 1834 Investments, CAC 2000 9.5% Cumulative Redeemable Preference Shares, G West Corporation Limited Ordinary Shares, Jamaica Broilers and JMMB Group 5.75% Preference Shares. Paramount Trading Jamaica Limited was the volume leader with 60.4 million units, followed by Wigton Wind Farm Limited Ordinary Shares with 8.6 million units and Mailpack Group Limited with 5.7 million units. Now for the foreign exchange. Oil prices soared to their highest in about 13 months on Monday as vaccine rollouts promised to revive demand and producers kept supply reined in. Brent crew was up 93 cents to settle at $63.36 a barrel. U.S. West Texas Intermediate WTI crude futures gained 86 cents to settle at $60.33 a barrel. 
And that's it for Frontline Business. I am Aisha Nation, wishing you pleasant viewing.